Uh, hello everybody, and welcome back to some Ragnum Mod 6. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. So, last episode, we got together and we done our bit of refined storage. We got our fancy duds here. Uh, we've got creative flight. And that's pretty much it. So today, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to kind of step back, do some easy stuff for today. I just got done um, making a run, getting what, I've let this thing run for 24 hours uh, and got what Supremium we needed to make uh, us a sword. Um, we had, from the quest that we got completed last episode, we got half of basically what we needed for each tier. Uh, so I was able to, it wasn't really that hard to make the sword. So we're going to be using that today. And then I just went and pulled all the stuff off of it and put it on here. The only thing I can't put on there is unbreaking and mending, which is lovely. I need to put those up. That's what I was meaning to do. So what are we going to do today? Well, today we are going to take on the Twilight Forest. Uh, we've got our little progression page. It's one of the things that we had not checked off. That is now checked off. We can go to the Twilight Forest. If we go down here to the Twilight Forest section, uh, this tells us that in this pack you can't go to the Twilight Forest normally. You need to open the portal in Atlantis and throw in a psionic rat brain. We got all of that last episode. So, first things first is we need to do the magic map. And take care of that. Um, I do know that we can get our stuff. We can use this without in other dimensions. We're going to take care of that soon enough. Uh, for now, we're just going to run with what we got. So, we need our... Uh, it's not what I wanted. Um, one of these guys. Beautiful. I need a handful of flowers, which I probably don't have. We'll have to go get those. I can do that right quick. All right, so we are here in Ratlanus. So what we need is a little two-by-hole. Fill it up with water. Throw some flowers all the way around it. And after that, we should be able... I don't need none of this stuff now. It can all go away. And now all we should need to do is throw this guy in here. And there we go. Our portal to the Twilight Forest. Alright, we're here. Everything's loaded up. Um, so I don't know a whole lot about... The Twilight Forest in 116. I don't know if it's changed anywhere, any which way. Well, let's put that there. So, but I'm assuming everything for the most part is still the same. We need to find a Naga. We, there's a Lich King. So basically, first things first is we need to head out and find, uh, well, let's look at our quest. Um, magic beans, it's all stuff that's Everything looks like it's still the same, pretty much. So, let's start along this trek. Alright, so one of the things I've been looking for is this guy right here. Raven. That gives us the raven feathers so we can do our magic map. Uh, the only thing else I need to find now is a cave so I can find some of the, the uh, little glow berries. So, I've been running around here trying to find a little cave opening. Wasn't having any luck. And come to find out, we can get torch berries from the skeleton druids. We'd already killed a couple of them. Uh, I come back to one of these little houses and got what we needed in order to do this. So, now we should be able to make... Uh, wait, let's do that. And I need paper. I was hoping the empty map would work. That's not going to be the case. We'll have to run around here and find some sugar cane, which shouldn't be that hard. 
there's little rivers everywhere. Uh, that's seven. And that's all I'm going to get from it. Alright, and with that, we've got what we need. There is our blank magic map. And with this guy, it will show us where all of the areas are that we need to go. Which, looking at the map, there's not really... We don't have to go very far for a lot of them. So, let's go ahead. I grab some extra stuff along the way. That can go away. The paper can go away for now. Let's go ahead and put this stuff up in case we need it. Get this guy, and let's go after the Naga, which should be right over here. There it is. All right, so let's do this. Shouldn't be that hard to do. So these guys spawn as you get close. With us having flight, uh, it makes Twilight Forest really, really easy. Uh, like I said, we're... We don't have a whole lot to worry about as far as armor goes. Um, where'd he go? There he is. And there we go. He is complete. We got us a orange heart. Or not an orange heart, a yellow heart. Put all that stuff up for now. The shaders, I'm not really too worried about. Um, I don't mess with a whole lot of that. So we'll go ahead and get rid of those. And we will head to the next, which is... Wait, 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 wait. There is another quest. Oh, let's to make that stuff. Uh, we'll worry about that stuff later. Uh, but next is the Lich. Let's head there. All right, so we got Lich Tower. Uh, this guy here is literally just filled with spawners um, all the way up. As you can see, spawners, spawners, spawners. Uh, we want to get to the top. There is some loot to be had in here. Uh, but for the most part, we're not worried about all of that. We just want to go after this guy. So basically, we want to hit the little pearls back at him. Try not to catch on fire. And that's all done. Easy enough. We can handle that. Alright, so next up on our list is to fight, or to do the maze. Uh, I hate the maze. Uh, so, but if you look at the map, not that map, this map, um, you will notice in that there is four around the, uh, what is that? Yeah, the dragon thing. I don't even remember what it's called right now. Uh, but anyways, you only have to do one to be able to get through. And I hate this thing. This thing takes... It, it'll either take you two minutes to get through it, or it'll take you 20 minutes to get through it. Basically, it's just a great big long map. Or not a map, but a great big maze. That has some baddies in it. It's not too hard to complete. We'll get a few things along the way that I'm not worried about. But basically, it's just trying to find your way through. There's two levels to this. we got to get to the second level. And there's no real easy way of getting through this. Uh, outside of creating a map, but you have to find the stuff to make the map inside the map. So... I'm going to get lost for a while. All right, so it wasn't too bad. I was able to find the center of this. Uh, along the way, we've gotten a few things. Uh, I got 
uh, a few hearts. I did go back and kill another um, Naga before we come. I passed, not Naga, uh, the Lich. Uh, we needed the other scepter uh, to be able to get it. Uh, but these maze map focuses are what you can find. I actually got this guy from a Minotaur when I killed him. Uh, with some paper, it will give you a blank maze map. Uh, you will need one for each level. And then you also get these maze wafers, which actually is just a form of food. And then I got a mob soap. But we're going to jump down in this one. And then we're going to head through the second level. Second level usually has a few more mobs in it. I'm going to wind up being that much more of a pain to get through. But we've got this. So I am going to head at it. So I did find some paper along the way. Uh, matter of fact, I just got it out of that chest that just blew up. And with that, we now have a map. And as we run around here, uh, it will open up and show us the map. And then it's just a matter of finding the middle room. And we did not find anything right there. All right, not too bad. Found him. Basically, we can get this close to him. He will come over here, and he will not come through. That is something new that he's done. I don't think I've ever seen that charge before. That's something different. He is on fire. Well, ah, forget it. Let's just go ahead. <laughs> he died from hitting me. So, but there we go. That is all squared away. We need to get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, ironwood we're going to need. The Mies Stroganoff is what we actually need. Uh, Diamond Minotaur Axe will hold on to most of the rest of this stuff. Is just garbage. Steel leaf. Yeah. So we can get... That's iron wood. Steel... I don't know what all that just was. So we got that. Iron wood. There's steel leaf leggings. We've got... I've got steel leaf boots already. Maze map focus I'm not worried about. Yep, so that's everything that we need. So, I actually, we're hungry. Let's go ahead and eat the meef. Beautiful. We've got that. Let's just head back home, and then we'll start out from there. All right, so now that we killed him, our next item for business is the Hydra. I remembered what it was called. So, we should be able to just head right into the middle of this here swamp. And the biome will change. There it is. And on the other side of this guy, we will have the Hydra. That is it right there. This guy should not be able to do much to us. So we're just going to kind of hang here and wipe him out. And there we go. Uh, the fight itself is actually not too bad. The uh, best way to really do it without being OP like we are is just kind of hanging back, hitting him with arrows, and shooting his fireballs at him. Uh, he didn't touch us. And we got a Hydra Charm Fragment. And we got a bunch of Hydra Chops. So our next bit of business is we need to find Dark Forest. And I have yet to come across that, I do believe. Um, I think it's the purple on the map. I think. Let us head that way. And there we go. The Dark Forest. Now this one too does have four different uh, mazes to go through. Uh, and in the center of it all is the Urgast. Uh, this actually does not look quite as bad to wander through as what it used to be. Which is kind of nice. Uh, it used to be just a great 
big mess of well we didn't get very far um, great big mess of tree and leaves nothing wrong with it it just would become a pain you'd get lost real easy this is nice and clean still got to find our way in and there's what we are looking for right there all right so basically we just need to find where we put in our trophy that we've already got which is right here uh, I kept this guy out it doesn't have to be the hydro trophy you place here you can place any of them and once that's done, we fall in here, and we've got another maze to complete, and we just got to find the boss room. One thing to make sure to do is check around any of the steps and stuff like that. There are hidden chests in quite a few areas around here that has some goodies in them. So... I don't know if there's anything in this guy. Doesn't look like it, but I do see a bunch of mobs. So, basically, we're just kind of looking around to find the boss room. Alright, well, this took a lot longer than I want to admit, but we have found our room. These guys, once we walk in here, they will spawn in. Not real hard to kill. We just got to kill all of them. And, boom, there we go. Once you kill them all, a chest will spawn. And then we've got everything that we should need night metal shield not worried about I'm gonna take one we'll have that one let's put that up and we'll grab that I don't know if we need any of it but we've got it. that can go up that 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 I'm not worried about all these mob drops there we go this guy is now complete all right so I went back home uh, instead of trying to find my way out of the maze. Uh, we are now over the Twilight Forest. We are heading in, or not Twilight Forest, but the Dark Forest. And headed towards the middle of it. And this is the guy right here we are looking for. This is the Urgas Tower. Now, this tower is full of traps and a lot of other stuff. And it is... I, and it's full of parkour, and I suck at parkour and puzzles. So with us having create a flight, we can just fly up to the top of it. Uh, there's traps and stuff like that that you can use to kill the ergast. We can just fly up and get him, because we're good like that. Um, I love the Twilight Force. It's just when there's no point of doing it other than getting the resources and killing bosses there's no sense of really doing all of this uh, so it's just us going to chase this guy around and kill him he's really really loud well one of the things that I did not realize is he took off and I mean took off off we are nowhere near the Twilight Force, and I don't have a clue where all of his stuff just dropped, which kind of sucks. Um, there's the XP, but I didn't get none of the... Do I have my magnet? I do not. I seen the heart drop, but I didn't see where it landed. Uh, but I was not aware... That he was going to take off like that. Uh, I don't think I've ever had. Of course, I do, don't have much of a bow either. Um. So, but all the stuff that he that we need is actually at the castle in a chest. It spawns in the chest. 
Hopefully it'll still spawn there with him being so far gone. Um, if we look at our map, um, yeah, we're quite a bit away. So I'm just going to say forget that stuff and we'll go get our stuff at the castle. So our next area to go find is a snow biome. Uh, we have the Yetis to go face and the Snow Queen. And much like the last two guys uh, that we have fought, there is four of the surrounding. There's a lot of mobs in here. Uh, there are four of the surrounding the Snow Queen Tower. Alright, so I'm going to clean this guy out. Really? I am not believing there's this many mobs in here. Come on, get me close enough so I can get this guy to spawn so we can go after him. There is the Alpha Yeti. He's not that hard to beat, really. Um, we just got to watch out for the snow that he throws at us. And boom, he's dead. Easy enough. Let's get out of here. I hate dealing with all the mobs. So, but with that, we got the Alpha Yeti fur, which we can use to make the Alpha Yeti stuff. I don't think we have a reason to make that. It doesn't look like it. Um, but we'll hold on to it just in case we need it for anything down the line. We've got ice bombs. We've got our trophy. Uh, I did go back down so we could get the cake. Uh, the Experiment 115 cake in the Urgas Tower because it is something that we need just to complete a quest. And that was pretty much it. So, now that we have... I don't want to throw that in the trash. Now that we've got the Alpha Yeti taken care of, we can now go deeper. And if we come over here, we have got a bunch of ice. And in the middle of the ice, we have the Aurora Castle. These little penguins are absolutely adorable. These blocks are freaking awesome. Now this one, much like the Urgas Tower, it has a bunch of parkour and puzzles and mobs and stuff like that to go in here and try to kill. And it really is just a matter of finding a way in. Yeah, we're not going to find our way in that way. Alright, so I found the actual way in. So basically, like I said, it's climbing up steps. Doing parkour. There's a bunch of chests in here to be found. There's a bunch of mobs in here. And basically you need to make your way to the top of one of the towers in order to find the Snow Queen. But like I said, we've got flight. There's no reason for us to do all this. We can just fly up and find her and be done with this. So there is the Snow Queen. Uh, with us being, it's not that hard to do. Uh, basically, any other time... You'd have to shoot snowballs fight back at her. Um, or hit her with um, arrows. But because we can fly above her, easy enough. And then we get this tribo. And we got our Snow Queen trophy. Beautiful. Now, after that, we need to find the other bow, too. Uh, we need to go find magic beans. So we need to head to the forest. Um, this guy right in here is where we should find what we need next. So the Twilight Highlands is where we're aiming for next. And around here there should be a cave somewhere. 
should be. And inside that cave, we will find the cave trolls, which will give us the magic beans so we can go fight a giant. I need to find a cave. And here we go. Here is our cave. No. Magic beans. We've got our magic beans. And we plant the magic beans. And it'll get us up to here. Which I don't guess... We need... So you need to get the uberus soil, which was in the chest also, and plant the beans on it. And then it creates this great big giant bean stalk that you can climb up, and it takes you to the cloud. There's more beans. Let's get some more beans. And we were actually pretty close to where we needed to be. And then up here, there is giants of us. And basically, our goal is to kill these guys and get, actually, what we need is that giant pickaxe right there. That right there is what we need. So now that we've got the pickaxe, we can go back down to the cave. Look, there's where we could have put it. And we need to find the box of giant obsidian. This guy right here. And with the giant's pickaxe, break this guy. We want the chest, and inside the chest we get the lamp of cinders. And the lamp, lamp of cinders is what you use to clear away any thorns to get up here. As you can see, we climb up here, you can climb up here, and as you get here, we've got thorns. And this breaks them. Uh, we don't need to do that. We can just fly right on over. And we've got the castle. Which, as far as I know, still hasn't been completed just yet. And we are here at the top of the castle. And there is a spawner here. At least that's there. These blocks are cool. These doors are cool. This whole area here is awesome. I love it. There is mobs in here. Yeah. So, but for the time being, that is pretty much all there is to this. I still got a couple quests we need to do in order to do this. Uh, we need to make a fiery ingot. Which is easy enough. We can do that. Let's go back home right quick. Alright, so to make our fiery ingot. We needed an iron ingot and we needed a fiery blood to get the fiery ingot. Now, we can use these to make seeds. We'll get to that. We're going to need them. So that completes that quest. We also need to get night metal. Night metal is, we need to make those. We've got all of that here. We've got a bunch of shards. I thought I grabbed all of them. There we go. That gives us nine. What's the best way of cooking these to get anything out of it? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And while we're waiting on that, I did get the stuff we needed to use to make the Naga stuff. 
and I went and killed another one as we were headed to one of them. I don't remember which. So there is our night metal. That quest is now complete. That's actually really cool. We need to do the questing ram. I need to find the maze breaker. And we still got the other scepters. Well, I'll work on all of that off camera. Um, let's go ahead and complete everything. Beautiful. We got more trophies. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff. Oh, Lord. Um, let's put all this stuff up. And I'll clean us out here in just a minute. That's all of that. So, but with that, that pretty much has the Twilight Forest complete. We've got to go find the other two scepters. We've got to go find another Snow Queen. And get the other bow. Oh, we can actually do that in that. We might do that. Uh, and then I've got to go do the questing ram. Uh, that's just a matter of finding him. So with that, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!